My name is Brian Pearson and my company is Pearson & Pearson. Well, Pearson & Pearson is a spin-off of a distillery that I started in Temperance, Michigan. In 1998, I commercialized a jello shot called Zippers, and um, it was a very difficult product to get regulated by the federal government and then in states. So it taught me all the compliance issues and, and uh, introduced me to a bunch of different wholesalers. And at some point, the, the manufacturing company that I was using, the distillery, got bought, um, and I was kicked out to the curb. So I ended up raising some money. I opened up and was one of the youngest people in the country to ever receive a, a DSP permit, allow me to distill uh, alcohol. And I couldn't afford the, the business that I opened. So I ended up opening my doors up to entrepreneurs. Um, and what, what started with one entrepreneur uh, led to about 60 clients up at Temperance Distilling Company. Uh, last year, October, I ended up resigning from Temperance Distilling Company. My wife is the vice president and still runs Temperance Distilling Company. And I decided to take all the different brands that we were manufacturing and escort them to the market. Uh, teach them what the wholesalers need to hear, why they need to hear it, um, and teach them the grassroots uh, different marketing campaigns that you can use to compete against some of the larger uh, players in our industry. So talk a little bit about the entrepreneurial nature of what you see now, sort of a new trend in this business. You know, it's very exciting. Um, both the economy has driven people to our industry. The fact that after uh, a, a bad economic turn, consumption of alcohol is up. So a lot of people had liquefied whatever assets they had and they were looking around to see where, where could I put $150,000 um, that would make money. So they ended up finding our industry making money, knocked on Temperance Distilling's door because there's very few distilleries that will do small boutique runs. Um, and we have all walks of life. I have an air traffic controller, I have a hairstylist. Most all of them are not quitting their jobs. So they utilize a company like me to at least help get them going cash flowing with the dream of being able to walk away from their existing life and walk into a new life um, in the alcohol beverage industry. Um, all right, so talk a little bit about the show and how it's gone so far. You know, it's great. The first show that I came to was 10 years ago. This is my 10th show. I started in a 10 by 10 foot booth. Um, this year I had 20 booths uh, in my name. Uh, it was great. Every, uh, every, every product and brand that I brought to the show ended up picking up some kind of distribution. So there's a lot of anxiety about coming to a show like this and being in a new world. Um, we do seminar, we do an hour seminar before the show where I give a question and answer. Here's what to expect. I think I brought about 60 clients with me to the show this year. Um, and it was great. We, we had a very warm reception from wholesalers because a lot of our products are uh, non-traditional. They're, they're unique, they're trendy. We're trying to create some niches for ourselves. Can you talk about some of the ones that have gotten recognized like Ono? Yeah, Ono is a tropical liqueur. Um, you know, it's something new. It actually is an employee of Tempers Distilling Company that had a product of their own. After watching and helping everybody put together their products, um, they decided it was time to come out with their own. So uh, Patty owns, or owns Ono, um, and we had a great reception, so we're getting ready to launch it uh, in about two weeks. One of the most unique products that I have is a product called Cream. Uh, it's an aerosol can, 15% 30 proof of whipped cream infused with alcohol. So we've got the range. We also have from the most novel products to a product called High, and High is the most, uh, an extreme superior premium spirits, rum, whiskey, and tequila. So we've got from the most novel products to the most high-end traditional products in our company. So do you still, do you still get the WSWA to get to marketing like that? I've been working with WSWA over the years. Um, they've allowed me to give feedback um, about how, how it goes every year, um, what things we think that we need to change. Um, and the show's been great. Uh, the, the, the initial day there was a big influx of wholesalers that took time to come down to the pit area, which is where I'm always at. Um, you know, we call it the pit. It's a great place for new brands to kind of be incubated. And since I always have new brands, I've never left the pit. So I've never taken a brand and gone to a suite. So it's just a great area for new entrepreneurs to come in which wholesalers are willing to give a few minutes of their time to come down and see the new brands.